Hello everyone, this is another video of CS106A, Assignment 7 for Face Pamphlet, and we are on Milestone 3. In this one, we are going to construct the Face Pamphlet database. The stubs have been given to us, we just need to fill in the blank. Hopefully you've read through what you're supposed to do. Basically, we want to give it some functionality so we can actually store profiles and then be able to call the profiles from that database. And so, the methods themselves will ask, tell you what you need and then all we have to do is create the coding for it so to make it possible. <clears throat> There's nothing too new about this one. Uh, of course, looking at this, the easiest way to implement it is by using a hash map. Um, and then we want to use an iterator <coughs> when we get to the bottom half and you'll see why. And here's the uh, sample text that they want us to go through once we're done uh, creating the uh, program, creating the uh, class. So let's get down to it. So for the database, like I said before, what we need to create is a hash map. So let's go ahead and create a hash map. And this hash map will have <coughs> a string, which is the key, plus a profile that goes with the uh, that key. Okay, and we'll call that the um, uh, what should we call it? We'll call it the profile database. Okay. <clears throat> the next thing is we'll initialize it in the public face pamphlet database. So we'll call profile dot oh, db uh, is equal to new hash map and string face pamphlet profile constructor semicolon done. Okay. Now the next thing that we need to do is read this statement. This method adds a given profile to the database if the name associated with profile is the same. Uh, the existing profile is replaced by the new profile passed in. So the easiest way to do this is by um, uh, just doing what it says. We want to figure out if there is a profile with that name. So if the profile dot db oh, db dot contains um, the appropriate profile that we put in with the gate name. So if it contains that key of that name, then we want to replace it. So it'd be <coughs> profile db dot uh, remove the profile get name, and then profile db dot add oops uh, put that name plus the profile. Okay, and so it replaces the existing name in the database with the ex with the profile that we put in. <coughs> Otherwise, if it doesn't have that, then we simply just put that profile in. Okay, so that's how we add that profile. So either we replace it or we simply just add it in. The next thing is we want to be able to get our uh, pamphlet. So to get a profile. Um, we want to return a profile, so we hit return. We we'll hit profile db dot get, and then get the you know name of the profile and return it. And that will return a profile. And if there is no profile in the database, the given name for the given name, the method will return null. Oh, okay. So then we need to do a conditional statement. So if profile db contains the key of that name then we want to return that profile. Otherwise, if it does not, then we want to return null. Okay, And that's all they want there. For this one it says the method removes a profile associated with the given name from the database. It also updates the list of friends of all the other profiles in the database to make sure that this name is removed from the list of the other. Okay, so pretty much delete the profile and delete the friends from the other profiles. <coughs> so if you want to delete the profile, first we need to check if it contains it. So profile db dot contains key. Okay. And if it does, we want to do profile db dot um, remove remove that person. Okay. Um, once we remove that person, we need to do an iterator of the whole key set of profiles. So iterator 
string, we'll call this one it is equal to um, what is what are we doing? Profile key set, and we're going to call it the iterator. And then what we're going to do is use the while uh, it has next. <coughs> Then we're going to call the profile, so profile to be dot uh, get <coughs> it next. So we get the profile, and we want to remove dot. Oops, outside of that dot uh, remove friend, and the friend has the name that. Okay, and it's going to do it until there's nothing else. And then let's see. We call the remove the profile from the, from our profile database, and then we remove the friend from each profile from the key set. Yep, that's it. Uh, if there is no profile in the database with a given name, then the database is unchanged after calling this method. Yes, because if you remembered, the method for remove friend from the uh, base Panther profile. <coughs> gives you a return statement and a false statement, but false returns nothing, so it's going to do nothing. Okay, um, Okay. next we need to create a method for contains profile. That's simply just doing this. So if <coughs> profile db contains the name, then return true. That's what you want, right? <coughs> this method returns true if the database is in if the name is in the database, yes. And if not, we're gonna return false. Like that. So that's how you create the database, okay, with all its functionality. So it has the ability to add a profile, has the ability to get a profile, has the ability to delete a profile, and check to see if the profile is inside. And um Basically, some of them has return statements like true, false, or returns profile, which will be important, and I'll show you why. But now let's go ahead and give that functionality to our um, <coughs> face pamphlet. So first, we got to add the class. So we hit private face pamphlet pamphlet database. We'll call it the face database. Okay. And we'll initialize it. So Face DB is equal to new face pamphlet database constructed. Uh, now we need to give it some action. So when we're adding a profile, we want to make sure that it contains that profile. So face DB contains the profile, uh, and the name will be from the name field text field. Okay. If it does contain it. <coughs> What do we want to say? Um, profile for that guy already exists. So we're going to go print ln uh, add profile for whoever it is for this person. Um, let's see. Already, and we'll hit enter. Uh, I don't like how that did that already exists space enter plus uh, the profile so let's do um, face.db dot get profile of the name field because that's how we can retrieve the profile by using the name of the profile and we want to put it into the string method so it returns that particular <coughs> status semicolon okay mm, else if it does not have it then we simply just add it so print ln let's see add new profile uh, and we'll say face db face db uh, get profile name field get text to string. It's the same thing. Just wanted to copy and paste that. Now before we get there, 
okay we need to be able to <clears throat> add the profile to our database so what we're going to do is we'll put facedb dot add profile and the profile would be uh, and we have to create the instance of a new profile so uh, let's create face pamphlet profile call it profile <coughs> uh, new face pamphlet profile with the string gives me a string parameter of the name field text <coughs> like that and then we're going to go ahead and add that profile to face db <coughs> uh, otherwise um, if Yeah, if it does not contain it, we'll just do the same thing. Oops. We'll just do the same exact thing. Because anyways, regardless of the fact, uh, the profile is going to be added regardless. Where is it? Here we go. So looking at this, um, if it contains a key, it returns that. If it's not, then it returns that. So it still adds no matter what you do. So that's I think that's what they wanted you to do. Yeah, yeah, that's what it, that looks, that's what they want you to do. And um, face db add profile and that's that's what they want you to do. Now there's something wrong with that to string. I wonder why. Oh, one extra parentheses. Okay, so that's how I implement the functionality for. Um, <clears throat> for add, let's go ahead and add the functionality for delete. So here you go. We don't need this guy. If the face DB contains the profile uh, of a name text field, this guy, <clears throat> what do we want to do? We want to delete it, right? So if it contains it, then we're going to say print ln uh, delete profile of whoever the person is, which is the name text field, uh, is deleted. Okay, so that's how you do that one, but if it does not, oh, and by the way, we actually have to delete it, so when we say it, make sure we do it, so <coughs> face db, I'll remove, oh, face db, delete, there we go, delete profile with that name text field. <coughs> Yes, and uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. Else, we want to print that it's not there. So we'll go ahead and say print on. We'll say delete a profile with name of you know the name text field. Very handy that control paste um, does not does not exist like that. Cool. Cool beans. Um, okay, so next thing uh, we need to now work on our lookup. So we need to look up. We have to create the functionality for that one. So let's comment that one out <coughs> and see if the profile exists. So face db contains profile of the name field text. If it does, then we'll say look it up. So print ln <coughs> look up space and the profile. So we'll say face db dot get profile of the name and then we'll just string it because we want to make it into a string so it can print it out. And then else, if it's not there, then we want to say mm, <coughs> print on <coughs> look up profile with name oops not double space with name that uh, does not exist okay so that's how you do it uh, if else perfect perfect delete look up everything looks good <coughs> one way to find out we just gotta test it 
uh, face pamphlet, run it. Let's see, what do we need to do? We need to, okay, so first of all, add Mayron. Mayron. There it is. Oh, there's a null, but that's easy. You just, if it returns null, make it an empty uh, string. Uh, Julie. Good. Uh, let's add Mayron again. Mayron. Good. Profile for Mayron already exists, and Mayron needs to be placed with this. Now we want to delete Julie. Oops. <laughs> uh, I put delete. Okay, there we go. Profile deleted. Hit it again. Doesn't exist. Good. And uh, look up Mayron. There it is. And let's look up Julie. Doesn't exist. Good. So that's the functionality for um, for our face pamphlet database, and that's how we add the functionality to the face pamphlet. If you have any questions, please like and subscribe. And if you want to show me your own algorithm, put it in the comments or message me and send it to me, and I will help you out. And uh, please uh, watch more videos and give me more subscribers so that I can give you guys more of this. If this is what you're looking for then uh, just please let me know, and uh, I'll talk to you later. Thanks.